Never try to hold back your feelings But it just wouldn't stay But when I finally found the words to say I wanted to run away Simply run away Okay Hey guys and welcome back to my channel My name is Casey if you are new here And if you are new I would love for you to subscribe to my channel We're on the road to 30k subscribers And I would love for you to be a part of that And by the way when I get to 30k subscribers I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway So you should definitely subscribe So you can make sure that you are in tune for that So today is going to be a combination of a review And a tutorial You guys are probably already like how the hell did you get your short hair Into those big buns <laughs> Well it's not on my hair It does look like it though right so first things first, I want to give a special thanks to Better Length Hair for sponsoring this video. Um, they provided me with some really nice kinky curly clip-ins. And I was really excited to receive these because you guys know that um, I don't like to put heat on my hair. So when it comes to clip-ins, that's kind of hard to do with curly hair because you have to kind of straighten it in order to get it to match regular clip-ins. You know what I'm trying to say. So kinky clip-ins is really convenient because I have kinky curly hair obviously and that way I can kind of use them to match my hair texture without you know damaging my hair. And plus with clip-ins you can take them out and put them in whenever you want. So the clip-ins that I received from Better Length were the Afro Kinky Clip-In Set and these are best for 3C to 4A type hair. This is what one of the clip-ins look like. Um, as you can see they look like actual like kinky hair and you get a full set of hair so it's really enough to um, put on your entire head and then on top of that there are a bunch of different um, size wefts so there's like one with five there's one with four one with three there's one with two depending on how you want to put the clip-ins in your hair and of course it's a hundred percent human virgin hair the hair can be washed it can be dyed it can be twisted out it can be bantu knotted it can be braided you can really use them the same way that you would do your real natural hair this is the natural color as well as you can see it's kind of like a um one b ish like not black but like a really dark brownish color and I got the 20 inch clips so they're 20 inches when they're stretched out but when they're in their curly state they kind of shrink up to about 13 to 12 inches now this is not the only type of hair there is there are a bunch of different types of hair that you can choose from depending on um, what you think may best fit your hair there's actually a texture that's looser than this and a texture that's tighter than this there's also like a Yankee straight um, like a blown out look hair clip-in set. I'll put the link to their website below so you can check out all the different types of textures that they offer. Now before I did anything with the clip-ins, the first thing I did was co-wash them and I used the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash and I literally just put them in the sink, I got them really wet, I applied the conditioner, I just kind of rubbed my fingers through it to um, get the conditioner through and that helps to clean them and to moisturize them at the same time because when you first get them, they may feel kind of dry but as soon as you wash them out and you condition them, they feel so nice and soft. And as you can see, the curl pattern is really defined as well. So I didn't even have to add like a um, styler or anything after I washed them. The only thing that I put on afterwards was a leave-in conditioner. And I used the um, the Wee Dead Moisture Lock leave-in conditioner just because I had a little sample size of it and I don't use that on my hair. Obviously, you don't have to use an expensive conditioner like that. I just had a free sample of it. But you can use um, like a regular cheap curly conditioner to help to moisturize the hair before you put them in. So obviously I don't have all of the clips in my head and there's a reason why. Um, let me tell you guys about my experience with them. So I attempted to put the clips in the way that you usually would with like regular clip-ins. Like parting your hair, putting a clip in, parting your hair, putting a clip in. And going all the way up to the top kind of like a full like weave almost but clip-in style. <laughs> and they just did not work for me like that. I think this specific texture um, is a little bit too loose for my hair. Plus my hair is really short so it was kind of hard to cover up the tracks at the top. Um, but I really just had a hard time getting my hair to match this hair and cover the tracks. Like I said because my hair is short and my texture is a lot tighter. Um, so I couldn't do it the traditional way. I am going to play around again with them to see if I can get them to work that way. But for my initial time, like trying it, that did not work. I probably should have gotten the tighter texture, like the 4B, 4C um, set. But like I said, I'm going to try it again and see if I can get it to work. But even though they did not work for me that way, I was able to use them to achieve these really cute big buns. Like I mentioned earlier, my hair obviously is not long enough to achieve buns this big yet. I can't even get my hair into one big bun yet. <laughs> 
but I feel like when I can get my hair into one bun, um, I'll be able to use these to make my bun look even bigger, which I'm really excited for. And this is a super easy like way to fix a bad hair day. Like if you don't feel like doing your whole head, um, you can just kind of use the clip-ins to make your bun look bigger or to make two buns like I did if your hair is a little bit shorter. So if you would like to see how I got these really cute face buns using these clip-ins, go ahead and keep watching this tutorial. Okay guys, so I'm starting off with um, like an old wash and go, so my hair is kind of stretched out. I'm just going to resaturate it a little bit with water to make it a little bit more movable and easier to like mold into the shape that I like. So I'm first going to split my hair into two sections. I'm going to make a really nice straight part down the center of my head. Since I'm doing the nice two big buns, you want to make sure that your part is as straight as possible because it's going to show obviously. Once my parts are done, I'm just going to put one side up to keep it out of the way. And then I'm going to make sure that my bun sizes are even. And then I'm just going to start working on this right side first. So I'm just going to take my Equal Styler Gel, my new one with Jamaican Black Cast Oil that I love so much. And I'm just going to, struggling, I'm just going to use that and um, apply all around my hair and my edge line to smooth my hair out. My hands are never enough, so I'm just going to take this soft bristle brush and smooth out my hair even more. Next, I'm just going to take this ponytail holder and grab all this hair together and put it into as much of a bun as I can get it into. My hair is still pretty short, so it won't get into a nice full bun. But you don't need it to be big at all, honestly. As long as, as long as you can get your hair into a ponytail, then it's good enough. Because we're going to wrap the clip-ins around this bun. And of course, I just did the same exact thing on the other side. So I'm first going to take one of the clip-ins that has three wefts on it. I think this is big enough, honestly, for my size buns. If you want bigger buns, I would go for the bigger clips. But this is the one with only three. And I'm going to first unclip them, of course, and just wrap it like right on top of my bun and um, kind of clip it onto my head. I wouldn't suggest rocking it like this, but I mean, you can if you want. <laughs> so once I have all three clips like secured to my head, I'm literally just going to wrap the hair around and create um, a bun around my bun. And this is really easy to do, like it's so easy to cover the tracks. It's a really quick and easy thing you can do like if you're in a rush or um, if you're just not feeling your hair for the day. I want my bun a little bit bigger so I'm just going to take another weft but this one only has two just to add a little bit of extra hair. And I'm literally just going to clip it underneath the bun this time, kind of where I didn't put the other clips. And I'm just going to wrap it around the same exact way. And then to secure the end, I'm just going to take a regular bobby pin and just pin it right up. I really only need one. You may need more than one, but um, I found that one was fine. Then I'm literally just going to do the same exact thing on the opposite side. So once that's done, I'm just going to take a little bit more of my Equal Styler Gel and just lay down my edges a little bit more. Um, yeah, until I feel like they're on fleek. <laughs> Alright you guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I actually, like I said, I'm really excited to be able to use these clip-ins to make my styles like this look better. And when my hair grows out, I'll probably be able to um, make these work even better, you know, wearing it out. All of the information about Better Length will be in the description box below, so definitely check out their website. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and of course, subscribe to my blog, www.thebeautyplug.org, if you are not subscribed already. Thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!